Today, let's learn about the difference between distance and displacement. For the most accurate reading, I've set my odometer to zero so you can see how far I've gone. So, more than halfway around my trip, I ended up between Stony Crescent and Red Crow Boulevard. It took me 2.1 kilometers to get here. So this is where I am now, more than halfway around. Let's take a look on the map and see where we are. We are currently at location B, and it took us a distance of 2.1 kilometers to travel that blue route. Now we're going to find our displacement. So we draw a line from A to B and find its length, and then we're going to add a direction. So we find that to be 1.1 kilometers northwest. It has a magnitude, 1.1 kilometers, and a direction, northwest. Well, I'm back now. The entire trip, according to the odometer, took 3.3 kilometers, or 3,300 meters. So that is the entire distance of the trip, the whole loop around. Now, what does that compare to the displacement? I started here, and I ended here. Let's check it out. Check out the map again. We started at location C, we went around the loop, and we ended at location C. Remember, displacement is the change in position. Well, we started at C and ended at C, so our position final minus initial, they're the same position. So, when we subtract them, we get zero. We had no displacement for this. Anytime you start at the beginning and end at the same spot, your displacement is zero.